I still think that somehow he was happier in those struggling days than he was in the days when we were flying the flag at Everett and winning every race. Sounds odd to say, but I think he does need a, a challenge. I think he thrived on it. He's been racing to be a racer. I think he's in it for the love of it. What about going to the races? Do you think you'll still be able to go to the Grand Prix this year? Why not? I don't know, doctor's orders. I'm fine. I mean, I'm paralyzed, but I'm, I probably, I spend, I haven't had a day of work, I don't think I've had a day of work in years. I just don't get ill. Never have done. Frank's personality hasn't changed. What he can physically do has. But his approach to his racing, his love of Formula One, his obsession with it is just the same now as it has been as long as I've known him. So how does a man like that retire? He's not going to retire, he's going to die on the job. Well, Frank will never stop. <laughs> he will stop when he closes his eyes. <laughs>